is Nancy from Food Anthropology and I've just gotten back from my farmers market and it is called the Foothills Farmers Market here in Cleveland County. It is an awesome market. I'm just going to show you our schedule from April all the way to October. They have a great children's program called the POP program that is actually nationwide. Give a smile. Now the reason I'm... And also I'm, check out my YouTube channel. Uh, showing you my bounty for today. Got some local honey, some blackberries that Hans actually bought with his token. As you can see, he's already emptied one of them, which is awesome. We have some blueberries here from a local man who uh, picks blueberries in honor of his wife who pr passed away um, from cancer years ago. Uh, some beautiful tomatoes. Now, if you can't tell me that those are not a work of art, you're not going to find them this beautiful in the grocery store, I guarantee you. And unfortunately, some people don't necessarily like the look of it. It's a, I mean, these aren't even, I would not even consider these ugly at all. But anyway, one of the reasons why I wanted to do a quick video was to talk about the ends of onions. And actually, I have a little bit of an end of a garlic. I actually already removed the garlic stem. I have not done that yet for these onions, but what I want to tell you is do not throw these away. Do not throw the stalks away. I know that they don't look great. They're not something I would probably put into in a salad. And these ones are really dry, so I probably wouldn't even put them into a soup. These bit of greener bits here, I probably will. Um, but what I most likely will do is because they still have some flavor to them, not a whole lot, I'll admit, uh, but just enough that I can put them into a homemade stock. And that's what I plan to do. So this is just a quick idea as to how to use as much of a plant as possible, eliminate waste, uh, because I know even after I use it for a stock, there's still going to be some um, fodder left over, and that's some of the plant material. I'm going to put it in my compost pile, but I've been able to use it for its intended purpose and feed it back into the planet. So this is Nancy from Food Anthropology talking about a wasteless kitchen, knowing that through small things that we do to save the food that we eat um, can make a big difference. So thank you, and till next time.